Beer School, book number one. Miss Daisy is crazy. My dad gum man. Picture by Jane Pilot. Chapter ten. Football players are really dumb. Boys and girls, today we have a very special and famous guest. Miss Daisy said his name is Boomer Wiggins. Wow! Was the first thing everybody said. Who he, who's he? Was the second thing everybody said. But I knew who Boomer Wiggins was because Boomer Wiggins was my hero. He was the quarterback of my favorite football team, the Chargers. Wow! A real football player right right in our classroom. Miss Daisy told us that Boomer Wiggins had daughter in fourth grade. And that why he was spending the day at our school. When Boomer Wiggins walked into the class, everybody gasped. He was really big and had so many muscles that they poked right against his shirt. We all crowded around them, and Boomer let us feel with his arm muscles. I couldn't even get my hand around them. Then Boomer picked up Emily with one hand. He was amazing. Then he gave each of us a little plastic football, and he signed his name in each one. Does anybody have any questions? Boomer asked. Do you like knocking guys on their butts? I asked. I already laughed. Even so, I didn't say anything fun. That funny. Miss Miss Daisy said it was butt, not butts, because a person only had one butt. But I said a butt was divided in two halves, so really it could be a butt. Miss Daisy said that was enough of that talk. I said she shouldn't be complaining because she was the one. She was the one who started. I don't like knocking people down. Boomer told us, but sometimes we have to because it's part of the game. Mr. Wiggins asked Miss Daisy. Is it true that football players are really dumb? We all gasped. I was afraid Boomer Wiggins might knock Miss Daisy on butt. Excuse me, Boomer said like he wasn't sure if he had heard the question. Well, somebody once told me that if you play football, you don't have to how to read or write or do arithmetic or go to school. Who told you that? Boomer asked Miss Daisy. Everyone looked at me. I slid down so that my head was almost under my desk, and I hid it behind my notebook. Oh, a good friend of mine told me. Miss Daisy told that. Is it true? If I didn't go to school, I never could have become a football player. Boomer told us, "I have to read and study my playbook very carefully. I have to write a letter to my fans every week. I have to study very hard to get for the next games." Did you go to college? I asked Miss Daisy. Yes, Boomer said. And when my football career is over, I pl- plan to go back to school so I can can become a doctor. Wow! I said, I want to go to cal- college somebody someday so I can become a doctor and knock guys on their butts. I mean, butt. Everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything funny. Then to prove how smart he was, Boomer Wiggins read us a book. And Tessa Boomer that said a trivial goal by reading on them. Miss Daisy said that even so, Boomer read the book to us. We could still add fifty-two pages to our total number of pages we read. The temperature level on the thermometer in the hallways kept getting higher and higher. Chapter Eleven. We rule the school. Finally, the big moment arrived. It was Andre Young, of course, who read a one millionth page. The old children and Miss Daisy ran out in the hallways and fell in the top of the cemetery all the way up to the word one million. The Friday night, everybody in the whole school showed up at school. Can you believe it? Actually, couldn't wait to get to school on the weekend. When we got there. Big Ben and girl was hanging on over the front door. Dad said, "We read a million pages on it." Principal Class was waiting for us. He was really a girly like she, just he prom- like he was promised. Inside there was table of snack and treat and juice. Miss Davy had brought in bombas, but. 
by basketball, the gym was filled with world war with video games. I had never been, I never, I had never seen so many video games in my life. Families have brought in lot of, lots of TV sets, games, games they sim, and games, and lined up all up all around the gym. We could play all we want, and the one, oh, and the only rule was that you have to take turns. For the kid, kids who didn't like video games, there were a table of board games set up in the middle of the gym. I think they're called board games because you get so bored playing them. I played just about every video game in the gym. In the gym, after a few hours of staying to scream, I just. I had splitting headaches, my hand hurt, I thought my eyes were going to fall out of my head. Hey, but it was the greatest night of my life. Chapter 12 Poor Miss Daisy Monday at, at school, we had social studies. Miss Daisy said she was really sorry, but she didn't know anything at all about social studies and that we could would have to help her. I don't even know the name of the first president of the United States, she told us. You don't, we all said. I haven't a clue. It was George Washington, we all shout. Really? Really? Miss Daisy said with a wink. Never hear, never heard of him. I was beginning to thought that uh, Miss Daisy might have been just pretending that that she didn't know anything up all alone. One day, I caught her look at a piece of paper, and her eyes were moving back and forth like she was watching a ping pong game. Hey, you are reading, I said. I am not, she said. You know I can't read. Then how come you are? your eyes are moving back and forth like you are watching a ping pong game? Uh, uh, I was just thinking about these great ping pong games I saw once, she laughed. It was great. You should have been there. Maybe she was joking, and maybe she wasn't. She can never tell a bit crazy Miss Daisy. If it turns out that Miss Daisy really doesn't know anything, I feel a little sorry for her. And the kid in our school had read a million pages, and she couldn't will read one page. The kid in our class knew how to spell and do arithmetic and social studies. She hardly knew anything at all. Don't feel bad, Miss Daisy, I told her. We will teach you write, reading and writing and arithmetic. And we won't tell the principal class how dumb you are. You, you, she gave me a big hug. It will be hard work teaching Miss Daisy everything that she doesn't know. I think that by the end of the year, if the whole class work together, we just might bring her up to second grade level, but it won't be easy. My Weird School, Book Number One Something weird is going on. Miss Daisy, who teaches second grade, doesn't know how to know how to add or subtract. Not only that, she doesn't know how to read or write either. She's the dumbest teacher in the history of the world. Miss Daisy is Crazy by Dan Gumman. Picture by Jane Palin. Bye bye!